going to talk about strengths and the limitation of cohort study design. For the cohort study, I would say the most important or significant strength is that it can be used to measure the incidence and the prevalence rate of a disease using the cohort population. And because when we start the study of cohorts, we only know the exposure status and the disease outcome is still unknown, which means that we can minimize the bias because in case control study, which the disease outcome is already known, when we collect the data, participants, they might give very biased information because the disease outcome is already known. And also, one of the most significant strengths of course study is that it's the strongest observational study in evaluating the culture effect of exposure in the development of a particular disease. For the limitation of course study, I think the most significant limitation is that course study because uh, we need to follow up there for a long time. So it's very costly and time consuming. And the study, I usually suffer from the buyers due to loss to follow up. And usually the loss rate is quite high. And it's a poor choice for the study of a rare disease. For example, um, it's not really a good study design for cancer. We can't not really uh, follow up the general population to waiting for them to get diagnosis of a cancer. So you usually need a very long time and the huge funding and manpower in order to conduct such a uh, cohort study. And another significant limitation is that being in a study may change participants' behavior and therefore they might um, influence the disease outcome. And other limitations uh, include that uh, information of the exposure status might cause bias when uh, the researcher try to classify the disease outcome. And the classification of individuals can be affected by changes in diagnosis um, procedures.